How's it going, guys? My name is Vinny, longtime friend of Sam, avid drag racing fan. Here we are at Bandamere Speedway, 2023, the last Mile High Nationals. Go, Bob!
Just past the eight to play it up. I was watching the car down there. I wonder. I can't imagine that that would have been planned shut off, but I didn't really see anything that made me, at least from this side of it, think, okay, that thing's got a problem. 428, 232 miles an hour. It may have been just a chance. Top end only 268 miles an hour. He spoke out of pipes down there on that Rick Ware racing machine, but 3.859 for Clay Milligan. And that is going to put him in the final round. of a second. Steve Torrance goes 3.885 and you saw the Capco car really dancing around out there through the middle. He fought it and fought it, goes 388, 301 miles an hour, but Doug Coletta by one thousandth of a second. time and wins it on a whole shot. A double 08 reaction time. 410 at 303 miles an hour is not the number that Dickie Venables was looking for. But you couple that with a double 08 and he's going to the final. Very comfortable. 
a mile up in the air, trying to dial that car in. Let's see if he can pick up the trophy. Or if Richard Larson will join, I think, every other member of his family as an NHRA national event winner. One time, one run down the racetrack. Win you make history. He got there first, but he had to run too quick to do it. Dan Smith runs dead on five in the final round and picks up the trophy. Congratulations. Came here a year ago, won the division. Came here this year and won the big one. Against Norm Warley. Now Warley lives in Golden, Colorado. In that 1962 Pontiac Cavalier. It's got a 421 dual quad super duty combination under the hood. I know it's a 389 on the but that was last year. Norm Marley, I'm trying to make it happen right here. Norm's only final round in his career was right here. And it came up a little bit too. John Reimer on the left side is your defending champion of our year of year. And that's my thing. Come on. 